Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video I'm going to show you my plans for game week 4 and to see how my general strategy is going so far. And it could have been better. But before we do that, let's see who's doing well in game week 3. So in the Midnight Mule Mini League, the top scorer for game week 4 was Mark Hubbard with Marksman with a very impressive 104 points. So well done. And the team was Captain Harlan for 34, Salah for 17, Embremo for 14, so that was a nice one there, Eze for 10, 8 for Visser, and then 6 for Palmer and Lewis, 4 for Robinson, and then on the bench, nothing. Top of our league is Carl Lilly with the Glass Tigers. They managed 95 points. That was with Captain Salah for 34, Embremo 14, 9 from Isaac and Wood, Six from Saka, Robertson, and then four from Robinson. Robertson and Robinson, two different players. They sound similar. And on the bench, nothing. A very cheap bench, but didn't need it, so it was okay. As for me, I'm all the way down in 244th. I got 67, sort of. Not really, because I took an eight-point hit, so that's really 59 points is what I got. That was with Captain Harlan, 34, and then six from Robertson, Palmer, Trent, four from Robinson, and that's all. And then on the bench, eight from Pedro Porro. Now I'm fine with Pedro Porro having eight and on my bench because him getting the goal meant all those Arsenal defenders and goalkeepers didn't get a clean sheet. And I've not got any Arsenal boys at all. So for me, I'm happy with that. I'd much rather he had eight points on the bench than nothing. And then all those Arsenal people got points. So 67 points, but minus 8, so 5 million for game week rank. Another red arrow, and the next three weeks should also be red arrows, but you'll see why shortly. So according to live FPL website, I'm 10 points behind 1 million and 11 in front of 3 million. But this week I've taken a 12 point hit so far. So in reality, I'm below 3 million now in the rank. But who cares about rank on game week 3, right? Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos. It's very much appreciated. And for all you that like and comment. But the main thing is just watching them. Thanks. I'm now going to show you my plan that I set out before game week one and show you how close I'm sticking to it. So game week one, I said I may bench boost and I did. Game week two wild card, I said I might do and I did do. Next season, I won't do either of these because the bench boost in game week one limited my squad way too much. Wildcard in game week two. The idea of that was to try and chase money, but there just aren't enough players changing value for game week two. So I think probably wildcard in three, four or five next season is what I will do. Then game week three and game week four, I was willing to take many hits. But in the end, I only took two hits in game week three and so far three in game week four. I was willing to take like seven or eight hits in both weeks. And I'll take some hits in five and six. So the plan was... Don't worry about rank, just chase team value for the first six game weeks. Then up to Christmas, game week 19, I'll have a very template team, just so I can kind of keep pace for everyone, but I'll actually gradually close the gap because I've got a bit more money. My template team should be slightly better than everyone else's template team. Then keep it pretty much template up to game week 29. And then the last nine game weeks, I'll play some safe differentials and try and make up the difference. So my rank reckoning was game week six, I may be at 6.4 million. If I'm within 6.4 million rank, although that sounds bad, given all the hits I was willing to take, I'm all right with that. And then by the end of the year, 1.6 million rank. By game week 29, 800. Then by the end of the season, rank 40k. These are my goals. Whether or not it's going to happen, I don't know. But just so you know, <laughs> that's the journey I'm on. There's a website called FPL Game Week. They have a content creators league as well as lots of other information. And when you look at it, you can see where you would appear. So this is the content creators league I'm looking at now for game week three, ordered by team value. And at the beginning of game week three, my team value was 100.8, which was joint third best. There I am. And within the content creators league itself, the average was 100.4. So I'm slightly above the rest. And hopefully by game week six, I'll make that gap much wider. As of tonight, which is Thursday the 12th of September, my squad value is 100.7 and I've got 0.6 in the bank. So my team value is 101.3. 
but I am expecting a few players to go up before the weekend. Looking at the league standings for content creators on points, which is what it counts, the top content creator is currently Walsh from FML FPL. They're 21,000th in the world, nearly 22,000th actually. They got 261. I'm all the way down in 46th, which is one point lower than Ben Krellin and two points higher than Heisenberg. But I've already taken a 12 point hit this week, so really I'm much lower than that. I'm only about two or three places above last place, really. So 12 point hits what I've taken. I had Bailey, very happy to have him, and he went off injured. So I had to get rid of him because he was obviously going to go down in value. So I'm chasing value, but it means any players I've got that are looking like they're going to go down in value, I have to sell them because I can't afford to be losing value. I sold Pope because he's 5 million and I thought I could use the money elsewhere and he may have been going down. Gvardiel looks likely to go down in value. Medwayki went down to 6.4, so that's when I bought him. He then went up to 6.6 .6 and I sold him, so I cashed in 0.1 there. And the players I've brought in is Embremo, so from game week 6, Brentford have a very nice run of fixtures, so I'm happy to have him. And I think if he doesn't get injured, he's bound to go up a fair bit in value. I brought in Ramsdale. He's a 4.4 million keeper. First choice for Southampton. They've got two home games. There's a chance they're going to get a clean sheet in the next two, which means if he does, I think people will be buying him. He's going to go up in value. I bought in Rico Lewis because he's playing. He's quite attacking. He's only 4.6, I think, when I bought him. He's 4.7 now. And if he misses 10 games in the season, I've still got him. I don't care because I will have a playing defender on my bench. And I brought in Luis Diaz. I probably won't take any more hits this week for transfers, but if I do, I'm absolutely fine with that because it's all about the money. So the way my team's looking for game week four at the moment is I've got Haaland wearing the old mule hat. He's the captain with his mates Edison and Lewis in defence. Home to Brentford, may get a clean sheet. Let's hope so. I know they often seem to let in one goal, but... I could get lucky. The vice captain is with Luis Diaz at home to Forest with his mates Robertson and Trent. I have Mitoma at home to Ipswich with Jao Pedro up front. I got Smith Rowe at home to West Ham with Munez. And then finally away I've got Palmer away to Bournemouth. Now one or two of these players because of international duty may not play. But that's fine because my bench is okay. My bench is Ramsdale. Home to Man United, Embremo away to Man City, Robinson home to West Ham United, and Bednarek at home to Man United. So I brought in four players for a minus 12, and two of them are starting on the bench. But it's okay, it's all part of the strategy. I hope it works. As for the background picture, I thought I'd do a couple of Glass Tigers playing football because top of our league is Glass Tigers. There we have it. That's who did well in game week three and what my plans are for game week four. I've taken fewer hits than I thought I would have by this stage. But I suspect over the next two game weeks, I'll be taking 10 hits or more anyway to try and get the money. But after that, I've got all the fun of trying to catch up with everyone else. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a nice game week four and it's great to be back with the international break. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>